Hey everyone, so and again, today I'm going to do another movie rant. And today it's on a movie from 2011, and that's Cyberbully. Now the plot of this movie is where this girl named Taylor, played by Emily Osmond, goes on, is addicted to the internet, and goes on this website called Clicksters. No, I'm seriously, that's, I'm seriously not joking, that's actually the name of the website. And she's addicted to the internet, and she finds out she's getting bullied online. So she gets help from her friend Samantha, played by Kate Panabaker, to stop it. So that's pretty much the plot of this movie. Oh, oh my god. god. This movie was painful. You know what the sad thing is? This movie actually could have been good. I'm not joking. I, I know this might seem like a weird movie to rant on because it's a made-for-TV movie on, like, uh, whatever this was on. I don't think it aired here in Canada, but it aired on, like, ABC Family in the U.S. or Freeform, is that what it's called now? This movie was pretty bad. It did ha It had a lot of potential. It really did. It had... Heck, the acting is... A lot of the actors in it are are pretty good. Like, Emily Osment, she, she's a good actress, but she did pretty bad in this movie. She, she's also really unlikable in this movie. She's a real jerk. Um, the only good character in this movie was, uh, the main character, Taylor, her mom. She's the only one with common sense. She actually has knowledge over the internet and saying, what, and she actually gives good advice. Like, Going on the internet means responsibility, or what you do on the internet isn't private. That's actually a good lesson to teach. But the rest of the movie's bad. It's There's one scene, I thought this was a bit much, but I know it was supposed to be sad, but I can find it more, you know, hammed in and ridiculous. It's where Taylor finds out, find, watches a troll video and cries about it. Look, okay. I can understand finding it hurtful, that's fine, but she has a breakdown and tries to commit suicide, and she's like, I can't get the cap off, I can't get the cap off, but she's trying to take these medication pills when she's not even sick. And despite that, she still, she didn't even take the pills, she was still in the hospital. What? Oh, whatever. And the twist at the end was, um, Samantha was the one, uh, that bullied her. I appreciate the fact that you were trying a twist, but that's just cheap. That was the cheapest thing you could have done. I can understand if it was, like, um, her little brother or something, but your best friend, really. That just makes even... Her character unlikable. Yeah, this movie is pretty bad. Avoid it. It's not made. This movie really could have been good. It actually could have been good. It had so much potential, but it had a lot of plot holes. It had really cheesy acting, and it was just not a good movie. It's really poorly made, so I really don't recommend it, so... That's my rant on Cyberbully. See you next time.